Good afternoon, family, friends, and special guests. You know, it's only fitting. The rain stopped, but yet rain brings good luck to a marriage. The true foundation for a happy and fruitful marriage is commitment, communication, and compassion. And what's needed most in this partnership is acceptance, admiration, and appreciation. To make love last, put each other first. This will be the way to make a beautiful life together, which you both so richly deserve. Me and Allison, we played on uh, Y ball in third grade. She was she was the star point guard on the team, and I was like, I was I was some scrub wearing sneakers with helicopters on the side, just hoping she'd pass me the ball, and. Uh, you know, maybe you didn't pass me the ball as much as I would have hoped, but I'm very happy that you found this guy because he's great. As most of you guys know, I'm Taryn. I'm Michelle. Um, and we have been friends with both Allie and Ricky for the past 15 years. It didn't take long for Allie and I to become best friends, and what followed is just years of sleepovers and summers at the beach and Ed Hardy outfits and hockey cheer and long distance phone calls and dealing with Allie's latest break or injury or crutch situation. Um, and of course, a certain someone named Ricky. Of course, everyone here knows Ricky, but some of you might not know him by the nickname that a lot of his friends refer to him as, and that's Old Man Rattel. But in all actuality, I think the nickname stuck because uh, you've always acted older than your age. When there's work to be done, you do it. When there's a problem, you do whatever you can to solve it. You're always there for any one of us, whether it's helping someone move with your truck or uh, being there to talk when you know you had a bad week and you got to blow off some steam. I have a lot of admiration for you, Rick. One sec, baby, one sec, all right. It's something very special to have a close friend that has grown up with you through the hardest and most confusing stages of life. And over the years, I've come to realize just how rare it is to find someone who accepts you for everything you are, but that's exactly the friend I found in Allie. As crazy as it sounds, the distance in miles has only made our relationship stronger. Because as we've gone older and life has happened, it's only become more evident how important we are to each other. Um, I always know you love me for all that I am and that will never change. You're so important to me and so many people in this room never forget that. It's hard to believe that I'm standing here today at your wedding and it's even harder for Taryn and I to adequately express the love we have for the relationship and now marriage that is Allie and Ricky. We grew up with the love, we saw blossom and turn into what it is today. Ricky, I adore you. You've not, you've always been not only my best friend's boyfriend but a big part of the past 11 years of my life. No matter what life throws at him, he, uh, he always seems to remain calm, cool, and collective. He doesn't let things that are out of his control affect him negatively, and uh, he keeps his head up, pushes forward, and focuses on what's up ahead and not what's behind. And so for those reasons, And so, and so for those reasons, I find myself very lucky because not only are you my best friend, but you're someone that I look up to. In 11 years together, we have been through so much. Whether it was high school classes where you would bug me to stay awake, or driving up to UNH at 1 in the morning just to come home at 5 a.m. to go to work. From weekend getaways to Naples, 
to creating a home with our two crazy dogs, I know that our bond is as strong as ever. I promise to always double check the locks at night <laughs> and get you blue Gatorades when you're hungover. <laughs> but most of all, I promise to always kiss you goodnight and love you unconditionally for the rest of my life. You are my best friend, and I am so happy that I finally get to call you my wife. I love you together forever. That's it. When I first met you, I had no idea that my life was about to be changed forever. I love you because you see the good in people. You're the first to apologize when we're both angry, and the first to comfort me when I'm feeling upset. I love you because you're honest and I can always depend on you. I love you for fighting for us so hard and never giving up on our future. And because I love you, I promise to never forget how much you mean to me. To support you, to remind you of all the wonderful things the future holds for us. I promise to always put our love first. I promise to be your loving wife, the mother of your future children, and your best friend in the whole world. Our love is a once in a lifetime love and I will never take that for granted together forever. She's truly his best friend, his partner, and his other half. He has loved her on the good days, the fun and exciting days, but more importantly, he's loved her even more on the hard days. Ricky, thank you for being the best guy for Allie through thick and thin. We have no doubt that you'll be an even better husband. You two are at the center of every favorite memory. You are the glue. Your love has shaped so much of what home means to all of us. In a beautiful life together, let love be your dwelling. The world can be noisy and confusing at times. So make your home a haven, a peaceful place where you can listen to your hearts and enjoy the comfortable closeness you share. No matter how busy your days may be, find time for yourselves to unwind. Surprise each other. Every day show you're grateful to be partners, to be friends, and to be married.